This is Robert Frank, 615, and you're watching Muscle Sport TV, the most jacked and tanned show on the fucking internet. And welcome to Ask Me Anything MSM Style. I am your host, publisher of Muscle Sport Magazine, Joe Pietaro. And we're being joined, of course, by our Instagram live feed and archived on our Muscle Sport TV YouTube channel. Thea Renee, what's up? How are you? Get Mike on. Hey, we, um, we got asked about the Kai Green invite, and I had said it. I don't know if it was on a Monday or a Thursday show. I think it was on a Monday show. But um, I had said that I don't think he's ever going to do an Olympia. My money would be he will never do an Olympia again. He obviously has not responded to Jim Mannion's uh, special invite. And to me, that's something. Pete Kenny, what's up, pal? To me, that's something you either jump on right away. Just wanted to get the ball rolling. Me too. I love ball. Don't say ball. We had that guy. His name was B-O-L-L, Ball. I know he's not going. Yes, I, 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 he's pinning right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> good. Wildfire joining us. Hi, Wildfire brought something good. We were just messaging each other that I was unaware of, and I'm, I'm sure that'll come up. But I, I was hoping that somebody was going to take my bait. And it wasn't even bait. I just fucking blatantly put it out there. That male fitness model cover of the new Muscular Development Magazine. But please feel free to ask me anything, but that would be something good. Hello, Wildfire. Crazy Hawk, I hope you you, you didn't fucking get a, a hematoma. What's the best pre-workout show Iron fucking Mag Labs? Of course. What do you think, Howard? Matt Howard, Iron Mag Labs is my favorite everything. What's the best pre-workout? I'm going to say Iron Mag Labs. I actually have a good one. Oh, your ass. You got a burl on it? You got a boil? Yes, those pins do hurt. So, was it water or oil-based? Because sometimes those water-based ones, like Winstrol, they and that fucking just burns in there, and it stays there all day when you're fucking at work, if you sit at work. What's the best male speedo for arousing the judges? None. <laughs> just let it hang. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that, that's that's... I don't think the judges appreciate when the guys walk right up to the fucking front and their cock is like fucking bulging out with the bag of nuts. Palumbo said Kai should accept at the very last minute. You think it's anything's a possibility with Kai Green? He's a fucking maniac. He's a complete, um, just very, uh, he, he's out there. He's eccentric. He's into the esoteric. He likes that kind of shit. So anything is possible with Kai Green. I think that would be a, a bad move on his part. Make your mind. He's he's not prepping. You know, he, he if he didn't intend on doing that show, it's completely different from prepping for movies and, and magazine ads as opposed to prepping for a contest. So he's either got to go right away and say yes and start prepping or he's not doing it. That's my, my opinion. He's not doing it. Dave, what's up? Your video is up. I'm sure you've seen it. Kai is a great guy. He's a fucking space cadet, too, though. <laughs> I've spoke to him. I don't know what the fuck he said. <laughs> Me and Thea had a great time at the Mecca yesterday and got to see Dexter Jackson train. Very cool. It is a nice place to hang out in, yes. What's up with JCVD doing a classic physique show? JC, who's JCVD? What am I missing? Yeah. Uh, you're not talking about Flex Wheeler, I don't think. Who's JCVD? Give me a hint and I'll help. Prep in secret. Could be. Could be. But I think that would be a bad move. Fans don't like that shit. They want to know if you're fucking going. You know, fans are going to probably go anyway. It's not going to make the... Oh, Jean-Claude Van Damme's doing classic physique? Oh, come on. That's fucking... Now I get it. He has a hell of a back. He does. It's a sick fucking back. Even his lower back looks like most people's fucking mid-back. Um, what's his name? Kai. John claude Van Damme. 
Oh, Christian. What's up, Christian from Strength Addicts? Make sure you check out Christian's new video. I, I can't believe I'm plugging fucking MD, but I like Christian. We're friends. MD Noble Weekly, ep Weekly Episode 3. I did watch it. I enjoyed it. David Cosgrove. I'm glad to see you back too, my friend. And Jay Mason, of course. Fruity, I can't wait to see what you're going to come up with today. But Christian, all jokes aside, I did, I did hear the mention of me. You said about um, a thing that we spoke about on... Uh, Greg and Joe show when you were on. I did. I can't wait to, to you reveal your secret co-host. <laughs> well, 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 David, you have a friend unless you have a sub account that you signed out of and re-signed into this one. Somebody with the name with a B-O-L-L. -L, they told me to fuck off because Greg is the whole fucking world. Joe Pesci, thick back, powerful. What's up, Fruity? <laughs> Jose, I love you. You're a fucking maniac. You are a funny fuck. Hey, Christian, I got to ask you, you. You should ask your new fucking boss what's up with the fucking the, the fit barber on the cover of the new issue. <laughs> oh, my God. Has Greg Valentino got abs? I don't know. I've never seen him with his shirt off, and I've roomed with the guy. He came out of the fucking bathroom after a shower with a shirt on. He wasn't wearing the shower in the shirt. Be right back. You're going to tell Blackman I said his cover sucks cock? He knows that already. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Went, what's up? Who's on the cover? Okay, that um that that you have to amazing, you have to look at my post. It's a man by the name of Casey F uh Christopher. Shit break. Oh, perfect. Hope you yanked one out. Casey Christopher. I'm reading his Instagram page. Licensed Cosmo slash barber, published athlete slash cover model. <laughs> the only thing I can think of is that. He's a high-tech athlete, but is high-tech still with MD? Because I haven't seen them advertised on the MD homepage. And they used to be all over it. What do I think about Jens the Beast? I fucking love him. Look. Right here. There he is. Jens the Beast. Dolls God. I think he's a fucking great-looking guy. Is Greg Valentino ashamed of his body? That would have to be a question you would ask him. I have no idea. He said things lately. He's saying things on Rear Window Harris's fucking cockline report the uh, last week about his arms and stuff like that. Why he doesn't show them? And he was supposed to show them in the the fucking the thing. Had to order coffee. Blackman likes his with cum. <laughs> Charles, what's up, my friend? How you been, dude? He's a five percenter. I know. I know he's a five percenter. Jen's the Beast Dallas God. We also had him on MS, MSTV. I got to go see the hairdresser on the cover. Hold on. Yes, he went to the fucking, uh, what was that? They had some beauty school in Brooklyn. All the fucking hot bitches used to go. Thanks for the police post. My friend, are you kidding me? You know where I come from, my friend. All fucking respect. And that was a terrible execution which happened to the uh, female officer uh, in the 4-6 precinct. My friend Keith at the gym worked with her there. He was a uh, former member of the 4-6. He's, uh, he's got a detail now, and uh, he knows her. He well knew her. Uh, 48 years old, three children, and some fucking savage shot her in the fucking face and executed her. Thankfully, the uh, uh, responding uh, fellow officers lit the cocksucker up with 16 fucking rounds into him. Very terrible. I, I did, words do not describe how the fucking savagery that is purported by some people on this fucking planet. It's disgusting. But, you know, I so that's why I put, I reposted, somebody had a post, I saw it, because I had the hashtag I, I hit, and I saw that, I think it was like a Blue Lives Matter or something. And uh, I felt there was a good, uh, a good repost. Um, and I, I tagged a lot of the cop friends that are uh, friends of this show, Charles being one of them. But yes, I don't want to bum us all out with talks like that. Let's talk about the barber again. <laughs> Pete the Artist, what's up, Pete? How the fuck are you? Checking in. I'm glad you did, my friend. I'm wearing my Jason Genova shirt. Are we done with the sad story yet? I just looked at the barber in the belly shirt. What did you think of the barber, Jay Mays? Oh, I got Kim T on on the fucking air. Blue Lives Matter. Absolutely fucking right, Crazy Hawk. Military too. You're a former military. The most rewarding yet unrewarded career you can have. Comerica, you speak the truth. 
And I believe uh, Inked Cherry did comment on that post as well, which I was very happy to see as well. Go to Muscle Sport TV and look at uh, Dave's new Superhero Strong episode. It's uh, Gay Barber Lives Matter. I don't know if that guy's gay, bro. He must get fucking more pussy than any f- fucking the Kim T's. Like, well, let me see him. Where is he? <laughs> Green Lives Matter. Uh, it's military. Yes, I totally agree. MSM Lives Matter. I like that too. <laughs> Shoey, what's up, Shoe? Let's talk Genova. What's your take on the low liner thing? You know, Lee Carter had mentioned something on there. Travis, what's up, bro? Lee mentioned something about this, and I didn't know much about it, so I did some running around. I actually spoke to Johnny yesterday uh, via text back and forth. I think his was the night of the 4th of July, and I got back to him yesterday morning. Have I ever trained with Greg, and did he put you through your paces? I've never trained with Greg, so there was no paces to be put through, but he would probably fucking kill me. Greg trains like a fucking animal. Look at the guy. What's up, Travis? Not gay like a gay guy. Gay like I cut hair in a belly shirt with a perfect goatee gay. Yeah, like, you know, like I, I like pussy gay. <laughs> um, but I, my whole take on the thing, um, I don't. I just found out recently who this, uh, what's this other guy? The, the the big ball guy with swatting a lot. I mean, he looks fucking strong, that guy. Nick, what's up, kid? Um, but him and Lobliner and the whole uh, Mark uh, Lobliner and then uh, Johnny Bravo and Jason, it, it's, it's, it's I, I, I don't know. Football show with Comerica is going to rock. Quick question. What's the worst NFL team, win-loss-wise? This year, the Jets are going to be. And I could say that without even hesitation. Cleveland's going to be a lot better than people think. Brazil, what's the take on transgender dudes competing as women's physique? I don't know of any for sure, but I think that would be a terrible thing. Will got to train, have show, and day catch the show on YouTube. Oh, okay. No problem, crazy. I always appreciate appreciate you coming in. Ouch. The Jets. Well, I'm a Jet fucking fan for my whole life, and I know they're going to be a bad team. That's fine. If they don't start Hackenberg the whole season, it's going to be even worse because they're not going to get experience and get the question answered if the quarterback of the future is currently on the roster or not. Corby, what's up? But yes, the low blinder thing, it doesn't, I don't know, is Boston done with his five-year steroid? I mean, I was i was trying to watch Boston's video too, but it was, it was like 40 minutes long, so I had to get going on the show. Madrid, what's up? I like these fucking international viewers. Spain, we got a lot of good guys. Caleb, what's up? Even Florida, international from Florida. Caleb Green down there. But uh, I mean, to me, it looks like Boston saying he, he still wants to be a mass monster. He's just, you know, he was just telling everybody all the shit that he's tried over the years. So, you know, I, I uh, Boston's going to be doing a lot of good stuff with us. He says, no, we still take gear. So not sure. Yeah. I, to, me, I, to me, it looked like the video was more of like just saying what he's done over the years. He said he stopped competing oh, about a year ago. I mean, that was that's not a secret. Um, but he's just trying to say, working, I'm sure, man, I'm sure you are. Fucking guy has his own business, he works his fucking balls off, I can relate. London, bitches, yes, London, wow, we got we got the fucking World Cup of fucking just dirtbags on this fucking channel, I love it. <laughs> A bunch of fuckheads. See, I didn't say fuckos. Oh. <laughs> So yes, uh, 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 I, 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 the whole Genova thing, uh, I have to back Jason and, and Johnny. I like I, I like Lobliner too, but I don't know who the other guy is. Forge a Confederate. You wrote that last time Federa- on a comment, Federation of com- Female Competitors. I love female bodybuilders. He was more shredded than Lee Priest. I, yeah, like I said, fuck nuggets. What's up? Crystal, like I was telling you in the DM, he does that to press people's buttons. And him and Lee had shit going on about a year and a half ago or something. So I I think, you know, gun to his head, Boston's going to say he was just being, you know, trying to fucking push buttons there. Most of it is fake and waste of money. One thing Boston said to echoes what you said is pretty much he gave up on growth. Well, yeah, I... I I think that's a smart move. I don't think that's the best thing to fucking take. I think uh, gear is one thing when you start messing with other shit. You know, Jason's a joke. Do you think Piana's YouTube is done? Why would Piana's YouTube be done? I mean, to me, it's as populous as it's ever been. 
CrossFit is power of strong women competitors to torture the blood out of my brain and crush the air from me. Yes, you seem like you want to, you, you need to hire a lift and carry female bodybuilder to fucking squeeze your fucking, the life out of you. You got to pay for that though. That doesn't come cheap. You should watch uh, the episode with uh, Big Chris, Big Daddy Chris on Muscle Sport TV. Uh, he, he hires female bodybuilders. If Rich Pia... <sighs> Sorry about that. If Rich Piano went to an expo, would he be fighting? He be for who fighting who? Him? Uh, I I don't know what the question is. Uh, do you see my last photo? I want to know your opinion. I did not see your photo, Mario. He needs a session. There you go, Crystal. Alligator bar at the Olympia in the or- Orleans. Orleans. Like was that question for Shuey? Because I I don't know. <laughs> Shuey said no. Um, but yes, uh, Jason Genova, that whole thing, uh, you know, I don't know. I, let's just all laugh about it. It's with someone black. Would Rich fight with someone black? Bro, do they call you the shit stirrer? (laughs) The things that you asked me between today, and I I love you coming back. That's why I tagged you. I I, I hope I tagged the right guy. Maybe I didn't. What happened with Jason? It was something with, uh, she can't make today's show. She's on the beat. Oh, okay. Tell her I said hello and get home safe. That's the main thing. Fuck the show. Genova is the best in the modern area. I agree. What's a session? That's when a female bodybuilder uh, and you... Go into a, uh, a a hotel room together and uh, do things, and you pay for them. Rich got into a fight with Mack Truck, so that would be a yes. He got into a fight with Mack Truck because I think they have a personal issue between the two of them. I don't think it had anything to do with Mack being black and Rich being white. I think there was a fucking issue between the two of them. Is Jason okay? Of course he's okay. I spoke to him, literally spoke to him yesterday. We were on the, the cell telephone together. He knows about them Boca bitches. Wasn't really a fight. The Mack truck thing? No. It was a, a one punch. Yari Muscle and Ink, what's up? I have a tape of Joey yelling things at the Jets game. That makes the, you know, like I have a dream. Oh, yes, I have said things at Jets game. Drinking that piss water. They have Harry M. Stevens on the side of the cup. Now they have bottles of like plastic bottles of beer, but I don't drink at games anymore. I used to in my younger days. I used to get loaded at Jet Games and fucking just curse and scream. And Well, Jason would be doing the O. I hear Phil is running scared. But Jason will be at the O. He's supposed to be with um, uh, Blackstone at their booth. Pathetic excuse for a fight. Yes, Caleb was right, literally right there at that fucking, uh, that Fitspo, Fit Expo. Sneaking in at work, I'd hear some crazy shit. Good. I am going to be at the, I said Fitspo, Fit Expo, but there is a Fitspo at the Cradle of Aviation Museum in Nassau County, Long Island. I will be there this Saturday covering it and, and, and giving out shit and stuff like that. What's the worst thing you ever shattered a Jets game and did they cover? Well, they very rarely cover. Um, I, 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 I don't even remember because I was probably fucking toasted when I said it but uh you know I don't know I can't remember (laughs) that's why I don't drink like I used to because I would do stupid things and fucking say stupid things and just getting self myself in too much trouble the Jets are a terrible team I love watching Genova when he stress out he entertains yeah but I don't like when he's stressed out because I like him when he's having fun he's not having fun then who would win in a fight Stallone or Arnold Stallone, he just turned 71 today. What is your opinion about King Kai Green, bro? I think Kai Green's a great bodybuilder, but he's never going to do the Olympia again. And uh, he's going to fucking win Arnold when he decides to compete at them. And that's as far as he's going to get. <clears throat> yes, Kai Green is the second best bodybuilder on the planet. Phil Heath is better, even though some people think Kai beat him at one, maybe two Olympias. I don't think so. I'm going to give it to Phil all of those times. I believe it was three times that Kai finished in second consecutively. Boom, boom, boom. I still say Phil won won those, even though some people can make a strong case for Kai. The truth hurts. Yes, it does. And I don't think you like hearing it, Dave. 
Gary the Barber. We have another barber on the line. <laughs> oh, do you know Cos? What's that? Cosgrove? That's not. <laughs> what's Casey the Barber? <laughs> Casey at the barber's chair. Like Casey at the bat. Let's put Casey on the cover. Do you think Rami could finish as high as second? Not even close, Chris. Christian. I don't think Rami will ever do better than fourth. Who's the other barber? What's that guy's name that's on the new cover of MD? Gary, your cousin. Is on the, look at the new cover of MD. I believe it's August. Joe, what have I ate today? I had some pasta and uh, ground turkey. That was all I've eaten so far today. And a big fucking cup of coffee. I think Kai Green, no sorry, I want Kai Green to win the Olympia. He's not going to compete. MD has become such a joke. Yes, my only thing I like about MD now is Christian on it. And I mean that, Christian. I break balls, but I am being serious. Someone needs to put David in the bathroom. Oh, like Frankie Mush. <laughs> You're watching the guy that owned Golden Aesthetics. Why? Got to change my Instagram name soon. <laughs> Joey ate pasta with his Gindaloon ass. Yes, sir. You're welcome, Christian. Great toilet paper. Through She-Hulk. Great toilet. What's that mean, Dave? What am I missing? You should talk with Steve. Me? What's there to say? I had, We said hi to each other at the Arnold. I, I spoke to his son, um, Jordan, who uh, me and him always got along. We had a nice long conversation. And we shook hands. And then when Steve Blackman and I passed uh, each other in the hallway, we both said hi to each other, nodding and verbally. So, I think Steve knows it's fucking business, you know? I, I, I got to beat up his magazine because I want to sell more of mine. You're a great writer. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Your fucking video, you're very witty on that video stuff. He knows that. He should. And I'm not trying to sound fucking cocky either because he sees Ron Harris' garbage every fucking month. <laughs> Uh, I put a picture of my son and me, uh, like he was about a month old. At that time, my son could write better than Ron Harris, 2001, when he was like fucking three weeks old. <laughs> Job exposes bodybuilders. Oh, <laughs> you're back to that, Cosgrove. I hope 92 is not the year you were born, because then you're just like a fucking boy to me. Or is that like your number in football? You're like a D lineman or some shit. I can't tell by your picture on your thing. Can you suggest me good cheap ways, sir? Um, I like Animal, a Universal. I do like their stuff, and they are very cheap. Does Rich use fake wakes? Just asking. Rich Piana, I guess you're meaning. I haven't the slightest idea. I heard people in his videos have used them. I don't know for that to be a fact, so I can only go by what the uh, the thing Bernie Sanders. Oh, Christian is a Sanders supporter. He's under investigation. I figured it out. That's Ron Harris's hairdresser on the cover. He trims the soul patch. <laughs> I don't think... You look at Rich Piana. He's a fucking big dude. I don't think he needs to use fake weights. Now, I Boston was saying the girl that was on it was using them. I don't know, bro. What do I know? I'm 25, young, fresh, and full-blooded Scottish. Okay, good for you. You're, you're a kid to me though 25 she wants him out of the way for 2020 who the hillary what do you think about boston lord i love boston lord he writes for us he's gonna be doing a lot more stuff with us than just a column real weights what do i i yeah i i, I hillary is a criminal i think hillary is the, the, the democrats don't want any part of her jock and East, i'd slap the head off of you who me Maybe you can. I don't know. I'm 50 years old, bro. <laughs> I'm 5'9". You think I'm 5'8 from last week. Centurion Labs products are great. I've never used them, but if Guy Sister Nino says they're good, I believe Guy because I love Guy. I use real stuff when I wear. Hey, Steiner. What's up, bro? Guilty84. Steiner from Norway. My fucking new pal. Just kidding, man. I hope so, bro. I want to be friends. Even though you give me shit, you're allowed to come on my channel and give me shit. Who cares? Listen, if I wanted to fucking get blown, I wouldn't go on the internet because there's too many fucking people out there that just like to fuck with people. What's the breast pre-workout you've taken? Iron Mag Labs. Though this isn't their pre-workout, but that's I have their bottle handy. Yes, Iron Mag Labs. 
Yes, be honest. How long do you spend correcting Boston spelling and shit when he sends in an article? I'll tell you the truth. Almost everybody that sends me articles besides Bill Dobbins, I spend a long time doing um, corrections. So it's not just Boston. It's everybody. Kai Green is my fucking idol. And I don't know why I don't compete in the Olympia this year. Because he does. He has got an issue with AMI because they fired him. Well, they didn't renew his contract. You can say it either way. Would you not agree that it's all the same shit, different brand? In some ways, they are very similar. But I also look at mixing and flavoring, not just the effect of it. RX is having some issues with the Mac Trick interview. is horrible. I saw Guru Hans's thread. I, I, yeah, you won't. I didn't see. Hold on. You won't on my article, promise. Thank you, Dave. Why have the Jets never retired Gastonos number? Because he was fucking arrested about 100 times. They don't want to do that. Get Guy in a cover. Phoenix rising from the flames. I would love to get Guy in a cover. That is a great fucking suggestion. It's it's tough because for a year, I got to really, you know, I got to come up with like a real hardcore thing. My favorite flavor in protein, I like vanilla. But when it comes to pre-workout, I like grape. Write articles about Trendic. You got to read the anabolic doc stuff. He writes all about this type of stuff. He wrote an article for this new issue. Oh, and excuse me. Anabolic doc is pretty good with the, uh, the spelling too. Uh, PCT talks all about PCT. Very important stuff for you guys to read. Mack Truck constantly attacks Rich. He needs to do his own thing. I think there's a lot more to that story that nobody knows about besides Rich and Mac. And that's just my feeling. Does Greg abuse pre-workouts? I don't know. What the fuck do I know? Watch the show and my two children are sleeping. Good. Don't let them hear this. This is potty talk. Anyone here of SARMs? Been hearing about it? Yes, SARMs. I'm actually going to supposedly, uh, I got to talk to him about time, but uh, Kirk Radomsky, who knows everything about steroids, SARMs, and all of that pro-hormone stuff, is supposed to be on Muscle Sport TV this month, and we are going to talk about that. He actually spoke about that on another episode. Pro bodybuilders spend so much money. Have I read Greg's book? Of course I have. Anabolic Doc is awesome. I abuse caffeine. I do also. Breaking news. Ellen DeGeneres on the cover of MD in October. She wore blue posing trunks. <laughs> do you snack on protein bars often? I usually have one a day. I do like protein bars. I do. Do you think it was good? Greg's book? Yeah, of course I was. Kurt James got banned from the MD forum. See that? MD is a bunch of fucking skirts, and I'll tell you why. They take things off. They ban people. They, it's so gay to do that. Leave. Do, look at the comments on my shit when I fired Greg. If I was MD, there would be not one comment on there. They'd be all deleted. My plan is to compete in bodybuilding in about two years. Go for it, Steiner. I'm going to DM you. Gary the Barber. Is that, if you want to do it to DM, they do it on RX too. So, uh, same thing. I'll swing the bat at them also. That's gay. Do not ban. Leave it alone. Somebody tell Joey Cannoli's are exactly protein bars. <laughs> oh, fuck. Come on. You're ruining it. I thought I was doing good. What is the pot of gold in the fitness industry? Not the supplement companies. I, I think that's crazy. RX is banned central. I don't even post on fucking forum. I post on Muscle Mecca because they have a forum uh, with us on there. Greg's books are great, especially his workout book. I did read some of the workout book, not all of it. I, you know, I'm flipped around. But the other one, I read the whole thing. I want to compete in my first show in like a year. But my wife will leave me if I use steroids. You don't tell her then. You're going to be running around the house with a fucking hard cock every morning. She might figure it out, though. Intermittent fasting is good for... I think intermittent fasting is not a great thing. It's very tough to stick to. And if you go off it, it blows the whole thing. You have to be very strict with it and do it for a short period of time or else it's going to go... Thoughts on massive size potential as a vegan vegan lifter. I think it's very tough. You have to eat meat protein. It's a completely different type of protein. The plant protein versus fucking meat protein. Tell her it's creatine, yes. What's my favorite band of protein powder? Um, I, I love Goliath Labs. They have a great protein powder. Iron Mag had a good one. They don't make their protein anymore. They used to make whey. Not happening, Magic. Competing is a lot of work. Yes, it is. That's why I would never fucking <laughs> fucking patience for it. Creatine injections. Love that. Yes. Yes, testosterone injections are, if your doctor can give it to you, then your wife should agree with you taking it. I don't know how old you are, but tell her your doctor put you on it. You can do it with no steroids if you work harder and eat more. Very hard, though. You're going to have to go into a natural show and then nobody's going to be in the audience. You don't have the willpower. 
you have to do steroids to make it as a bodybuilder, guys. Anybody that thinks otherwise, you're never going to make it. You're 36. 35 is the first year where your testosterone levels start to dip on an annual basis. So I'm 50. So what are my thoughts on cardio? I do cardio four days a week. I love doing cardio because I know if I don't do it, I'm going to fucking look very fucking chubby. Do the Jews run the IFBB? <laughs> no. Sonny, um, son of Sammy Davis. <laughs> the best type of creatine. Uh, monohydrate. My friend gave me test E. Good. That, that You can do that like every three days. You don't have to do that. Like You can even do that once a week if you're just starting out, if you never fucking played with that stuff before because it's a longer lang- lasting ester than a uh, sip. What? I know that that's not that's not real. I love everything Italian except for Joe Piotero. <laughs> when was your birthday? Me? It's in July. It didn't pass yet. Joe Cairo, what's up, kid? My buddy. Somebody tell Joey running from his bookie is exactly cardio. <laughs> I said ten times, not twenty. Leave me alone. I want to be a role model for the children out in the world. Good for you, Steiner. I can't be. I'm already fucking. <laughs> It's too much dirt on me. How can you get the 300 to hit the backstage, the big stage? Steroids and insulin and fucking HGH, but you might die before you get there. If I complicate kids, if I want to have kids, it could, yeah. Not 50 yet. That's right, Chewy. Not yet. Make America amazing again. Yes. Will you lose your virginity, Joe? When did I, when did I, I was 16. Have you ever been incarcerated? No. Best growth is drinking milk that still has hormones and eating meat, not organic. Pay less with free hormones. That's a good idea. That's a good, good fucking statement. I don't know how fucking good it'll taste though. Is it taste good? Um, I, there was a question I was answering and I got off track because I'm trying to answer them all. But, oh, the uh, you want to have kids. It, it could make you shoot blanks. Have I ever sold steroids? And absolutely not. 16, then she pressed charges. <laughs> she was 14. <laughs> we both could have got locked up. Make MSM great again. Thank you, Real Joe Cairo. You help it by doing those fucking books. He's a weight off my fucking sinking shoulders. Bullshit. <laughs> I've never sold juice. If I have it, I'm using it. Trust me. I don't want to sell it. I like to take it. Why would I want to sell it? It's not always easy to come by. So sometimes you got to have fucking extra. It's like, it's it's like you know, it has an expiration date, but that doesn't mean shit. You can still use it after that. Money. Well, I do this for money so I can buy fucking steroids. I used Russian steroid pills when I was 17. Never again for me. They probably were good. Was it Anadrol? If it was A-bombs, you fucking probably had a great. David is wearing a wire. Hendry. Hiya, Hendry. Is lactating woman's milk HGH? No, but it'll probably, you know, it's kind of... I had a friend that was into lactating, and uh, he used to buy lactating porno videos. This is when they had videos. So I would walk into these places in the fucking city, and i go, dude, where's the fucking lesbian ones? And he'd point in the back. My friend would go, do you have any lactating videos, sir? It's like an old condom in your wallet. Lasts forever, multiple uses. <laughs> oh, my God. 20 years ago, Joe, I know you've done a few shady deals. Come on, Joe. No, I did not sell. I used. Come on. <laughs> Why would I sell stuff that I fucking use? I got fucking angry like the Hulk. <laughs> yes, it's probably Anadrol. Anadrol will do that to you, and it fucks up your liver. You, will, you, if, you need, if you get a liver like blood enzyme test, when you're on a fucking cycle of Anadrol, that's part of your cycle, your fucking doctor's going to go, what the fuck? What's happened to me? <laughs> uh, yes, that, that will definitely throw your numbers way off, fellas. Way off. How many pills do you take per day, depending on what it is? I am the epitome of a stand-up guy. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate it. And likewise, thank you for the juice you just sent me, Joe. (laughs) Progesterone turn into gyno. Do you need caber on DECA? Progesterone could turn into gyno. And I see, I to me, you gotta just use test with DECA and it'll it'll counteract. Which one? I have a knight over here. I have a crucifix over here. And I have my magazine logo over here. I used to have my name up here, but when I got this covered up, they had to cover the name. What's your daily dose of vitamin? I take a, a multivitamin, and I take uh, um, 
you know, fucking regular me- uh, medic- medicine, uh, vitamin-wise, I just use a multivitamin. I don't take, like, vitamin B and B12 and all of this shit. I did like them where tight Tic Tac candy. What, the Anadrol? That's not good, man. you really supposed to... A good cycle of Anadrol is starting with a, a half a pill a day. You start with a half a pill, you work your way up to three pills, so that's 150 milligrams. At your top, and then you pyramid back down. L-arginine. See, you know what it is? A lot of times, if you look at your labels on your uh, protein, they have a lot of those fucking L-based amino acids, L-amino acids like that. So you don't need to buy other stuff. Which brand multivitamin? Oh, I don't know. It was, it was probably like the Costco brand, I think. Joey covered up his name tattoo when he changed. You have to go into witness protection. Yes, you're right, Jose. I did. It said, Greg. <laughs> Vander Singh. Question mark? What are you questioning? Oh, fucking sanity? <laughs> Nobody grows faster than kids. Keep, eat shit. If you eat shit, you'll grow faster. But yeah, but you don't lose the belly fat like kids do. Thoughts on the whole Black Lives Matter? I think it's wrong. I don't like it. I know I did have a big problem when I want to do it clean. Yes. Advan is good. Snot. I didn't see the first part where you're making the correction. It said Hendry on his shoulder for years. <laughs> Hiya, Hendry. Meet the kid Hendry, Tommy. Subliminal bland vitamins, centrum of... I actually do have the silver ones, Steve. I did buy the silver ones. Greg Valentino is the face of Muscle Sport Mag. No, look. C.T. Fletcher is the face on this issue. Greg Valentino is not the face. David Cosgrove, how many times do you have to ask that and make that same statement and I have to correct you? I feel like I'm sending you to your room without supper. Is there true there are a lot of fake fish oil brands? You know, I was reading something about that. My wife found a, a thing and sent it to me. Cosgrove is the troll. Good, I like trolls, Dave. They're great. Remember your, your CrossFit video? I told you be be ready for it and laugh your balls off and you said no problem and you did. It's great. I love trolls. I love haters. It makes me know I'm doing my job right. I did read about that fish oil. Uh, I don't know how of much vera- uh, veracity it has, but I hope not. You got a phone to see? <laughs> oh, fuck. Greg is the face of my... No, come on. That's wrong, bro. You threw me in the fire with that video. Yeah, I had to, bro. It was your idea, and I loved it. I said, yes, let's do it. Yes, this new video is getting a lot of fucking comments and fucking views already, bro. The Greg Valentino... Uh, firing candidly being spoken about by Rip Vixen and Comerica Muscle. It had almost 200 hits before I started this show today. I just put it up like at fucking 1 o'clock. We're only human after all. Of course we're only human. Go to bed without your supper, little David. Little David gets in trouble. I used That was a book I had for my kids when they were little. And the, the David would pull the cat's tail and get sent to his room and put the soap in his mouth when he cursed. I haven't seen it up yet. It just came in. Yeah, it's it's up. I put it up a little while ago. One day I want to be the face of MSM. Maybe you will be, Steiner. Maybe you will be. Joey is such a dago. He only takes Feast of the Seven Fish Oil. <laughs> oh, amazing. I love you. You are a comi- comedy, walking comedy. Little David would tower over. What do you think about Palumbo's ridiculous take that most olive oil is fake and therefore people should switch to macadamia oil, which he happens to sell? Um, I did hear about that. I did not watch it, so I don't want to comment on something I didn't watch. I, was that when he was in Italy? David 5'8". Yes. I'm 5'9", Cosgrove. Stop fucking trying to put me down an inch. If not, I'll fucking grow my flat top back and I'll be 5'10". <laughs> Johnny Juice. I love Johnny Juice. He's back again. Can I use arginine for the rest of my life with some side effects? Those amino acids, you're not going to get any bad side effects. Those are fucking legit, bro. It's not like it's fucking test or some shit. It's more or less what he said. I don't know. You know, I don't know anything about that stuff. It, it could be ridiculous. I don't know. I've never heard that before. So... I heard that MD is fake because <laughs> you look at their new barber on a, a fitness barber on the cover. This is the real bodybuilding magazine. And that's not a lie or a fake, Christian. <laughs> Do you have a great 4th of July? Thank you, Steiner. Yes, I had a quiet one. Uh, wife's friend's barbecue. Small crowd. I ate some good food and I had no alcohol. I, I, I'm a I don't know about that stuff. You still 220 at 5 foot 8.5. I'm 205, bro. 
I was like 210, 212, and then I, I started going on my summer diet. I got to get my summer figure back so I can wear a bikini, itsy bitsy, teeny weeny, yellow polka dot bikini with the olive oil skin. She was the best piece of ass I ever had, and I had them all around the world. <laughs> you can't talk to a man like Mo Green like that. I'm 205. <laughs> I'm oily. I'll oil you up, bro. Cut the carbs, Joe. That's what I do. I've been cutting some of my, not all of them. If you cut all your carbs, you're going to be walking around with no fucking energy at all. You look lean, Camerica. Camerica is lean. Camerica is a strong dude. Your chin's touching my floor. Is it? Six foot 240. Shuey, you're that big? Wow. I didn't, I, I just, I never knew what you were. You're a big dude, man. I'm glad you're friends with me. Because if I ever came to U.S. or I went to fucking U.K., you kick my ass if you didn't like me. It's 205, 56. I'm short. You're only 56. I think I said that to you one other time. I was 135. Now I'm 160. There you go, Matt. Matt Howard. He's getting fucking healthier. He works out. Matt Howard did not let things hold him back health-wise. 6'5", 335. I need to drop another 40. Yes, that, that would be good. Imagine that. It's like Lou Ferrigno. I did a home workout and drank my creatine. Good for you. 5'11", 188. Oh, you're a skinny guy. Get a basketball in that kid's hand. Who wins in bodybuilding? Shoe Paulie Walnuts, young Sam Rothstein. Oh, Walnuts all the way. He's right around the corner from where I grew up. He grew up. Literally, I'm not lying. That's the truth. Howard has a great article on the website. Yes, go look at Howard, Matt Howard. MSM Reader Spotlight. Very inspirational article. I was 275 preconditioned competition. Really? Wow. Holy fuck, bro. You're a fucking big motherfucker. I'm a lean motherfucker. Yes, you are. 5'11", under two bills. It's like fucking minute ball fucking lean. I am 100 kilograms and 6'2". Funny how? How am I funny? Whoa, 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 Anthony. He's a big boy. He knows what he said. Paulie won the chin-ups contest three weeks in a row. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Pauly. Forget about Pauly. Kid called in sick today. I'd box your face off, though. You a boxer? If you're a boxer, I guess that's good because that's lean. Boxes like that lean, you know, long arm thing. Doesn't look like it in my videos or pictures. Uh, you know what? I never really gave it much thought, but I, you see it in front of you, you know? That fucking, you know, height and weight. It looks bigger. I want to get 210 before I get on stage. Matt, you just keep doing what you're doing and you'll be all right. Worry about your health. Don't worry about stage. If you're healthy and you go on stage with good health, with the issues that you've been through, that's your fucking, you know, Sandow trophy. Being healthy, bro. Fuck all of that stage shit. But if that's what makes you stay healthy and feel healthier, by all means, bro. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing, MH. Yes. So we have a uh, new video. Like I said, please go watch Dave Goley's new video. Joe's got the right idea. I hope so. I hope so. If you have the right idea, you're healthy then. You don't have to worry about anything. If they wanted to put Paulie on AMD cover. The photographer was half a fig, but he was flattered all the same. Paulie on the cover. Imagine Paulie on the cover of MD. Steve Blackman, I don't know. I'm not really sure what his his agenda is. That looked like a Fitness RX for Men, the magazine that I was doing a lot of work with when I worked there. That's exactly what it looked like. That's what it looked like. You never know what was the real people. They do these impressions. Come on, Mason. I know you know that one. Or Nick knows that one. One of you guys. You think it was the real people. French. Janice Rossi is a whore. Janice Rossi was hot, though. What's happening in terms of the sports world, Joe? Anything new just asking? Well, I love look like Ryan Seacrest monthly. Yes, it did. I love the Celtics signing Hayward. Full screen, a kickback with the feet up on the table and microphone of your ear. No, because then I, I got that one, the YouTuber one. I want to push to the top one time. Howard, I want to be there when you do so. Nat King, <laughs> whoa, I want to make sure I'm not kissing Nat King Cole over here. Whoa, Henry, whoa. We can't. Tommy, relax. Yes, that was a great movie. Goodfellas we speak of, of course. 
Um, yeah, sports world. I love Gordon Haywood to the Celtics. is a great fucking move for the Boston Celtics. Number one seed, number three pick, made a nice trade on draft night, and now they get the best fucking unrestricted free agent on the market. I would like to have the mag with the beast. Oh, Jens. Yes, that was the one before this one. That was uh, uh, Kamasikiyama, winter 2017. What you getting excited for, Jimmy? You're talking about Jimmy Conway? Frankie Fawcett. That guy is here before. He was here before. What's up, Frank? Ask me anything, Frank. Please feel free. We're talking about Goodfellas now. We went from Kai Green to Dave Palumbo with Olive Oil to Goodfellas lines. <laughs> the Godfather is a great movie, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. All back issues you can order from MuscleSport.com. Thank you, Dave. Yes, slash store. To be exact, I might go to the W O W W E. Who knows? Crystal never saw The Godfather. Crystal, come on. Did you put my picture in this issue? Yes, I promise. Do I have a lie, Shuey? How much is your magazine? $32 a year, UK price. You have to pay $12 an issue for shipping. That's the lowest. Stacks or Carlo? <laughs> Carlo is a puss. I go with Stacks. Carlo, we interviewed Carlo, the Carlo Rizzi. Um, uh, it's uh, twelve dollars an issue, so it's uh, forty-eight shipping and thirty-two magazine. It's eighty dollars altogether to go to the UK. That's the lowest shipping, flat, large uh, envelope. It's twelve dollars from US to the UK. I know, I know. Seventeen fifty R O R a year. Is that? Uh, I don't know what R O R. I guess that's a UK. Thing. Is that like a pound kind of thing? Stax had those high cares. Hey, where's that bitch? Yeah, where is she? What are you doing? I'm making coffee. To make it to go. Yeah, Stax would win that, I think. <clears throat> How many magazines you get a year? Four. It's a quarterly uh, seasonal. So the next one coming out is the summer. CT is the... a. Uh, for your year in pounds. Oh, okay. Thank you, Shuey. I don't know how to do that conversion rate thing. I got to go on Google and do it. When somebody asks me, when they send me money in pounds, I ask them to send me this much, or I just tell them, make sure you send it in USD on PayPal. You have to see it, Crystal. It's great. Oh, she knows it's great. She'll get to see it one day. Did you pay Rich to go on your mag? No, we had a uh, agreement. It was a promotion uh, for promotion which promotion only on one end worked out. That's why he's not in anymore. Um, why would I pay somebody to go on my mag? I mean, they're getting the fucking plug, aren't they? The, he didn't physically send me stuff. I got stuff from his fucking thing. I don't know how to make a restaurant. What's pounds? Ah, I don't know how to sit there and order and eat. Ah, this guy's a fucking... What am I going to go on a lamb over here? Sonny, tell, tell Paulie about what we were talking about. I'll talk to him if you want, but there's nothing really to talk about. What happened with Piano and MSM? Rich and I had a little bit disagreement at the Arnold in Ohio, and he didn't seem to feel the value in uh, doing the muscle sport mag anymore. More, well, I kind of just came to that conclusion on my own. What do I think of Rich Piano as a businessman? Ruthless? No, I think he's a genius. I think he's a genius as a businessman. What he's done in a short period of time is nothing short of miraculous. That's good. That sounds good, right? That should be like in a greeting card or something. What have you have, what you have done in a short time? Like a, like when you give somebody congrats fucking thing. Maybe I should get into the greeting card business. Um, yes, but uh, he wasn't doing things that we agreed on when we first did this thing. And then uh, I figured, well, then why am I doing it if I'm not getting the return? They bring you egg noodles and ketchup. Yeah. Like a regular schnook. He has made a million dollars from creating this character. I'm sure he has. Probably more than that. He has a big ass company. Yes, he does. Easily. Yes, he does. See, but my thing is, I'm still promoting the 5% guys because guys like Shoesmith and Caleb Green are fucking great with our company. So I doesn't I don't need to put Rich Piano in there to put guys like fucking Shuey and Big C in magazine. They've earned their right to be in this fucking magazine. So why should they get punished for something that the guy that owns the company didn't do? <clears throat> you know? Love you, bro. I love you too, Caleb. 
I told you, you're a sexy guy. If I was gay, I'd go out with you. If you'd allow me, I'll take you out to fucking dinner and a movie. And then we'll park at Inspiration Point and neck like Richie and Lori Beth did in Happy Days. Thank you, brother. Bless. Shuey, you've been here for a long time. Caleb, a long time also. Do you ever think Greg Valentino ever, Valentino ever make a million from his mail? What do you mean by mail? Name. I don't know. He always says he's broke, so I guess not. Hey, you say that about me. I'm jealous. Comerica, I love you too. You, you, you're you going to fucking bring rubbers to the Olympia because I'm going to pound the shit out of you. I was gay. I'd put on a belly shirt and cut it. <laughs> you still get my love. Even if you use 5% products of clothing. Don't be jelly, Comerica. <laughs> what happened to Zach King Khan? Um, what do you mean? With the magazine? <clears throat> I'm the pitcher, Joe. I'll be the sloppy party bottom. We can do switch. Ask Rip Vixen. She knows what switch means. Well, Crystal probably knows. I'm sure Crystal. Crystal, tell Comerica what switch is if he doesn't know what that is. Chicken time <clears throat> in general. Um, I don't know. What happened to him? He's still out and about. I still see him on social media. He, he really, he did that one show that Europa a couple of years ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Crystal. Um, but Zach, he's more of a, a, a figure than he was a competitor. I mean, he only did a handful of shows. He had some bad fucking injuries, and that's why he had to stop being a real steady competitor. Zach is fucking great, though, as far as marketing and, and being a, a, a person, personality in this industry. He's fucking superb. Wow, it's fucking 5-2. We got like five minutes left. Five minutes. This show on quick. Hey, make sure you check out. Iron Mag Labs and Muscle Gels with a Z dot com. Andro Hard. Look at that. Topical Muscle Gel. Topical Muscle Gel. His own bodybuilding condition. Zach is awesome. He has. Oh, that's right. He, yes, he does have that. What do I think of. What did I think of King Kamali? Very entertaining. He was a great bodybuilder for a while. Uh, you know, he's been out of the game for a while now, but he was. Uh, he made a lot of uh, things much more fun than they were with a quieter kind of guy. I think guys like Ken Kamali are great for the fucking sport. I'm late, god damn it. Oh, there he is, fucking Bumblefoot. What's up, Dallas? For instance, scanning a piece of chicken, it gives you the breakdown of how many calories, protein, carbs, and everything. <laughs> really? <laughs> Scan fucking uh, testosterone. Tell you how many pounds you get. You always give love to all your supporters, bro. Why wouldn't I, Steiner? What's up, homie? Give me one other company in this fucking industry, or any industry for that matter, especially this godforsaken fucked up bodybuilding one that knows all you fucking guys' names and your whole fucking life story and some of yours and shit. I, this is what makes it fun for me, bro. That's the company's Axe Working with L product releases in 18. Axe Working. Zach's work. Oh, okay. Really? Okay. See, I know Caleb... Fucking, he's a, uh, he owns a fucking uh, contracting. He does roofs and shit. His fucking arm was all fucking hurt, and now he's fucking getting back. Demonic Athletics and MSM, the only two. Yes, and Demonic will be in the summer issue, just like Dave Goys will be in the summer issue of Muscle Sport Magazine. So I'm very excited about that. The No Neck Cartel also will be. We have a lot of new advertisers. So people think that the company is just crumbling because there is one subtraction. Sorry to break the fucking news to you guys. Where's Cosgrove now? Come on, Cosgrove. Killing it. Yes, I hope so. We're trying. Tony Huge and T Coach Trevor. Come on, bro. We're, we're fucking, you know, what do you what do you think? I'm going to let you motherfuckers down? Company is growing. Yes, it is, Dave. Because Dave has become a big part of it. And we got some ladies coming to the fucking MSTV YouTube channel. So make sure you go subscribe. Some sexy ladies. You can shoot me a message. I'll give you some diet tips. Joey, send me a T-shirt. I got a date with a Jew bro. <laughs> she woke out with me. Let's say I wear a $10 MSM shirt. Mason, you cocksucker. I love you so much. Joe at MuscleSportMag.com. Send me your address, bro. You better live in the U.S. Because I ain't fucking eating fucking $20 shipping. <laughs> Shirts are expensive because they're not flat. <laughs> they hit me up fucking hard. She got taste. 
But yes, we're going to be off the air in three minutes, so make sure you check us out Monday. Of course, uh, 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 I think Comerica might be joining me on the fucking phone. You cheap motherfucker. Why am I cheap? Because I don't want to spend fucking $20 sending somebody something? Yes, of course. I have two kids. I have fucking college fucking bills to pay. I was multitasking. Family is giving me gray hair. Oh, no, we don't want that. Body Power next year, going to be interviewing for you. Yes, Shuey, we spoke about that. I'm definitely looking for, for, for that. Would love to do that. I'm in Texas being a schnook, a regular schnook. I have college bills. You know how much my daughter's college fucking bill was coming up this year? $63,000. And she's not going to fucking Harvard or Yale, okay? She's going to a fucking really good school upstate New York. Um, and she's doing five-year masters, so you can just imagine my next fucking past three and the next two are going to look like. I cook and drive. Holy shit. Tell me about it, bro. So I don't know what your daughter's college situation is, but it's a lot of fucking money. So you guys are fucking and masturbate all at once. <laughs> Road jerks are good. I used to do that when I was younger. <laughs> so you guys are like, oh, my God. You're fucking cheap. Suck my dick if you don't like it. <laughs> I don't care. Joey, I'll DM you on here. I don't know how to make an email. <laughs> College is expensive as shit. Yes. When she first started going, it was like in the high 50s. It goes up every fucking year. Free in the UK. Wow. Good for you. You you have that little, little boy. He's going to be going to college one day. So that's good. Free college like Bernie Sanders. I'm waiting for Christian to say something about that. My bachelor's degree cost me seventy five thousand. I'm sure it did. It's nuts, bro. We were paying my wife's fucking college thing. Dave, Greg should be back. Then go watch Greg on MD with Christian. That's where you're gonna see him. Um, look <laughs> strength that is. But yes, we're gonna be going off the air. Make up already. There's nothing to make up. He's got things going on. I got things going on. Everybody's happy. Everybody's happy as a pig in poop. So, guys, uh, 57 seconds on the countdown above me on this fucking screen. So, please check us out on Monday for Muscle Sport Radio. I'm going to try to get Dave Comerica not smiling to the ear. Yeah, the Bernie comment. I know. Greg is at MD now. Not officially, but it'll have. It'll, it'll, they'll come out. Great show, Joe. Have a great. Thank you, Dave. As always, I love when you guys join us. Joe, I like to burst your balls, but ye all right. You'll always, I love when you break my balls, Cosgrove. Please come in every fucking time, Monday and Wednesday, uh, Monday and Thursday, and Wednesday when we start the fucking football show. Forget about it. I'm just starting to pay my girlfriend's college. She's 16. Great student. <laughs> you fucking better late than never. See you Monday. Thanks, Dallas. You're a good guy. David, so are you. We like to break each other's balls. We're all big men. Boys, have a great fucking weekend. We'll see you next week.